Black cock put it inside my ass Take that BBC until I cream Love that cock I was only waiting for his wiener to arrive Big black cock Big black cock Inside the depths of my gaping ass Hey! That was a, a parody of Blackbird by the Beatles, except uh, it was Black Cock. Yeah. So funny, right? Hope everything's been going good. Today is International Girlfriend Day. Oh, isn't that great news? What a joyous occasion. Go on Snapchat or Instagram if you really want to kill yourself uh, on this fine Monday, August 1st. I got a new Telecaster. You like it's green. Nobody gives a fuck. Talk about fingering. Okay. I learned it. Here's what, here's what you do when you finger, right? <clears throat> I learned it's the same motion when you do wrist curls in the gym. If you ever do wrist curls to do your forearm, you're really engaging your forearm when you're fingering. Uh, it's, I had a really big forearm burn when I was doing it. My, I mean, it's probably the best forearm workout I've ever done is, is blasting. So that's the motion, ah, 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 except you put your two fingers out, now do that, ah, 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 and you get the curvature right, ah, ah, ah. So there you go. Take it out in the field, test it, <laughs> comment below if it works. I know it does, daddy's been... Okay, I was going to talk about the economy pill, <laughs> the economy. That shit is brutal. It's one of the things that I realize plays a massive part in a lot of the themes I talk about in my main channel and on this channel is the economy. Inflation, housing is fucked. Five dollar footlongs. Remember five dollar footlongs? Those bitches are like eight dollars now. What's going on, Biden? Come on, Obama, fix that shit. Those Arizona iced teas, that we, they were always 99 cents. It said it on the can, 99 cents on the Arizona iced teas. They held on for a long time. They kept strong. Even while everything was rising, those bitches were always 99 cents. You could always count on them. But now, I don't even know what they're, they're probably like 199. They really succumbed. Otherwise, the company would have gone under. It's fucked up, man. And, um, yeah, you, everything, everything is so much more expensive, but it's not like people are really making that much more money to account for it, especially if they're taking the traditional route, right? Like the wages are staying the same, but everything is getting expensive. So it kind of makes you go, hmm, that's fucked up. And it, I realized it really does it really does play a role in everything that I've been talking about because um, like my parents, were, they're able to buy a house with a family at 21, right? Like the past generation. They had a house, the kids, everything at, you know, in their early 20s. How is that possible now? In order to buy a house in your early 20s, you have to be genuinely successful. No shot you could do that shit with any sort of debt. Um, through, through college, it's just crazy. You have to live with like 18 people. That's what I'm doing now. I live with a bunch of people, right? That's what you have to do. In order to buy a house by yourself, if you don't live in fucking Iowa, that shit is a lot of bread, a lot of cash, a lot of guap. And um, it's... I realize that it definitely plays a part with this whole atomization plan. When you look at all of these things happen, um, it, it, it plays a role in the disconnection that everybody feels, the economy. Because everybody has, is forced to live in these little apartments. These neighborhoods are um, they're not as connected anymore. 
and the internet uh, the internet is definitely the main factor and that's the factor I've always focused on but the economy definitely plays a role and um, you know a lot of social scientists when it comes to the the rising male virginity the rising rate of sexlessness all this stuff um, they attribute it to you know people not being able to buy houses people not being able to be independent so these dudes, they, they refuse, they, they're failing to take off or leave the nest because it's, it, it's so fucked now. And yeah, they're comfortable, yeah, there's porn, yeah, there's video games, da da da, but it's also, like, could you not say it's also because it's ridiculously fucking expensive to buy a house and to live on your own now? You know, all of these things play a role. It's not just one little tiddlewink. I have, like, words here. I wrote like three words to keep me on track, otherwise I'll just go off. Because sometimes I do want to genuinely focus on a topic. Um, when you look at all of these things, this corroboration of factors leading everybody to be separate, uh, call, me, call me wild. It's hard to not look at it as if, it were, as, as if it's not some sort of agenda or some sort of elaborate scheme to separate people because this whole corroboration of factors is wild. The internet, the economy, you know, fucking Jimmy, they all come together, <laughs> you feel me? And if you, if you trace back the origins of all these factors, I think you'll come to some realizations that these babies, they're, they're getting you. It's all a scheme. It's all part of the, uh, the, fa the Fallons are doing it to you, man. Uh, yeah, it's pretty wild. I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to survive on your own now. And they say, you know, the, the inflation's going super high, but that means there's more money, right? So you just get more money, but it's not, it's not like more money is that easily accessible. Um, it, it is, like in a way, it's easier to get money using the internet, but it's still, the plan of it is to keep this, this ever-growing, you know, uh, fucking, this ever-growing amount of money amongst a certain group of people, right? That's what, that's what the whole thing is. And, um, I think Marx wrote about, like, in his, one of his manifestos or whatever, this is one of the criticisms he threw at capitalism, is that atomization happens. But, um... I guess it's getting kind of deep and political, but I, I don't really, I don't really think it's at fault of capitalism. I subscribe to what, what it could be considered some radical theories about, about how this, uh, this level of inflation came about. Look, you know, Jekyll Island, if you know, you know. Uh, look it up. Read the book. But, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's, I think, call me red-pilled, call me Jewish. There's a, there's a system, man. There's a system they build to trap you in. They're trying to take away your, they're trying to take away your sovereignty. Trying to lower your vibrations throughout the nation, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, I don't know, all of it... All, I've realized how connected all of it is. How all of it leads to these lonely young dudes getting depressed on International Girlfriend Day. A lot of people say they're lone wolves. Is that not a giant cope? I'm a lone wolf. I operate on my own. It's like, I don't know, buddy. I don't know, pal. Everything of value was created when people came together. This microphone I'm speaking on, this camera, this guitar, this house. In order to find happiness and create good things, you work with other people. You may act like you're a lone wolf, but the society you live in is built off many, many people working to have everything that you have and you can utilize that power, get human connection, all these important things, or you could be like, no, 
I'm a lone wolf. I understand it's hard, but if you are that kind of guy who's just like you're, I guess there's a, there's a part of it where like you're independent. That's a good thing, right? But um, you can only do so much by yourself before you're just a jackass walking around saying you're a Sigma male. Get the fuck out of Dodge, dude. Go get some bitches on your dick, <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps I would suggest maybe getting some bitches. Just a suggestion, but uh, go outside, be confident, take a couple showers, fucking work out, you know, take a shower in the gym. Go to the gym and then take the shower in the gym. Get a haircut, drink a bunch of water, right? And then just get bitches. It's really not, it's really not complicated. Stand with your shoulders back, get some Nike Air Force Ones and just get bitches. Get leg lengthening surgery. Those motherfuckers cut out little parts of your leg and put a bolt in there. Sure, dude. That'll help you. Goodness gracious, it's all, it's all a plan, I'm telling you. <laughs> this shit is, this shit is all one big scheme. Social media, the economy, designed to separate weak and men, it's all for more control. I'm there. I'm fully there right now. So, hey, if you disagree with me, that's cool. But I think uh, it's, kind of, it's kind of cool. It's kind of a dope idea. You know, all these people are out to get us. It's fun. Shit's not so boring anymore. Because the aliens, the reptilians, they took over the government and shit. And now they're using it to... Uh, so they're making you not fuck. Anytime your mom asks you, why don't you have a girlfriend, the aliens are doing it, man. It's all part of the plan for you not to fuck. It's all part of the scheme. Too bad you got cut up in the game. Caught up in the game. You didn't get cut up. You got caught up in the game. You're playing checkers. They're playing chess. They're maneuvering the board so that you can't fuck no matter how hard you try. <laughs> You're in a, a elaborate fucking... Terrible, goddamn, what's the word? Just, just awful, orchestrated, uh, sinister plan to get you not to fuck. <laughs> <laughs>